Maths. Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander Tactical. Now there are a few facts in life that are generally undisputed. One, water is generally wet. Two, the sky is generally blue. And three, carrying a rifle around is a bit of a bitch if you don't have something to hang it off. Uh, not necessarily hang it off, but to use to hang it or hold it with. Uh, so we're going to have a look at a sling today. Slings come in different varieties. You've got your three-point slings, your two-point slings, your one-point sling. Whichever way you roll, it's completely down to your life decisions, and that's a different discussion for another day probably. But anyway, what we're here today to look at is the high-speed two-point sling from Deadly Customs. Now, just to give you a little bit of information about Deadly Customs, they are a UK-based company that make all of their gear here. So these customs, they make Kydex sheaths, uh, Kydex holsters, lots of different things that you can adorn on a battle belt. Um, but this was one that they have made for me. Now, I will definitely say in this example that it was specifically made for me because there are lots of different options and what we'll have a look at through the through this is the construction of this and you'll be able to see how if you want to you can completely make your own with some changings in colors um, rather than getting a, maybe an, an off-the-shelf one so if you you know you want one made your particular way then you can certainly do that um, full disclosure I purchased this from Deadly Customs it wasn't sent to me free of charge uh, but of course I will leave all of their links below so that you can see more from them but for now we'll turn the camera around or will we yes I guess we'll turn the camera around ever so slightly so that we can take a closer look at the high-speed two-point sling from Deadly Customs so here is the high-speed two-point sling. Uh, now as a fairly traditional two-point sling I will say um, Deadly Customs aren't really reinventing the wheel here but I think in certain respects they don't really need to invent the wheel. Um, two-point slings like this have been kind of finessed you know over the last god knows how many years. Um, a two-point sling really is possibly one of the oldest style slings that has been gone back as far as you know having these strapped to muskets. Um, but what this does is uh, it has this slider system so that if you need to lock it closer to you or you need to be able to uh, pull it away from you then you can certainly do that with this. So as we usually do what we'll have a look at is we'll have a look at some of the materials, we'll see how this works and in a, in a, in a way kind of break down the anatomy that, of what we have here um, and then have a look at how it fixes onto the rifle itself. Okay, so materials wise, there's actually two materials on here. This is constructed, and if I hold this here like this, where it is in half, uh, there are two types of webbing on here. So the first webbing, this is the this is the rear part. I guess we're looking at the anatomy of it here as well then. So this is the rear part, and this is the part that will go over your shoulder and round your neck. The webbing, sorry if I've just gone out of focus there for a second, let's get back in focus. Uh, the webbing here is a lot softer, it's still ridiculously tough, uh, I think when it comes to webbing uh, they are using high grade mill spec webbing which is which is great to see. Uh, but with this it is just a little bit softer as I mentioned, you know, this is the part that will be going across your shoulders and round your neck. What it also means is it's just got a little bit more fluidity to it as well, so if it's running over your kit or across your kit or maybe you've done something and you've ended up running it under your kit ever so slightly which i don't understand why you would do that but anyway um it just moves across other materials a lot easier the opposite end and this is what they call the front end so this is the end that comes past your body and this is the part that um, affixes to the actual rifle itself now the webbing on this is a lot stronger this is the bit that you're going to get caught on doors, you're going to get caught on vehicles, what you know, whatever you're climbing in, around, under, you know, this is the stuff that's going to get caught. So they, they've made this, or at least made sure that this is a lot tougher. The last uh, component on here uh, is your is, is the handle for the pulling. This uses the same, it feels like it's the same, although it does seem a little bit softer. It, it almost feels as though it, it's it's a it's a so if this is the toughest this is the smoothest it feels like it's it's what between the two um, now you can completely customize this 
so the way that I have it, uh, the back part, which is here, I've had in range green. The front part, which is here, I've had this in coyote. And then the pull handle, I've had this in tropic multicam. So this is part of the customization op op options that they offer to you. They have several different colors from black, gray, coyote, um, to uh, I think they've got an OD green and a Ranger green. I think this is the Ranger green. Um, they've got multicam black, multicam just kind of normal multicam, and they've got multicam cam tropic. So if you wanted one so that they all matched, then you can certainly do that. And there's the option to get everything so that all these three match. I just fancied something a little bit different. Um, and I, you know, as I mentioned, I know that this has definitely been 100% made for me. Um, and when I say made, so although, yes, um, they use a machine to make these, these are all handmade here in the UK, in the beautiful city of Leicester. Um, they, you know, these aren't farmed out to somewhere in a country far away for them to make for you. Um, if you get one like this where you've chosen chose different colors It'll probably take a few days more to get to you. I think I got this within at least maybe four or five days um, That's working days because I remember I did get it towards the end of the week and there was there was the weekend um, But if you were to get one that has all the same then I'm sure that they've got plenty of those and that they can uh, they can send those out a lot faster all of the plastics on here so you have two buckles here um, at the front end you have two buckles, where are we going? Two buckles here, uh, sorry, at the front end, this is the back end. Um, all of the plastics on here are Duraflex buckles, Duraflex hardware, which, you know, worldwide known as being some, possibly the best out there that you can get. You also have the option um, as to what front front and rear hardware you'd like to fix this to your rifle. For me, for the front, I just took one of these um, flat hooks, um, but you can get double flat hooks, you can get double QD points, or if you wanted to and you don't want any hardware, um, you, you, it's all ready on your rifle, then you can opt not to have those, and yes, they won't be included. Or because, you know, the way in which these work, if I just grab this one, uh, so this is a this is a part of a buckle from a sling from one of my Tasmanian Tiger gear slings. Instead, if you have a favourite attachment that you use, then you can pass this through. You know how you all know how these work, uh, so that you can use that instead, and then maybe you can have this so that it's got a little bit more of a quicker release. Um, but that, they're the additional options that you get with webbing. Now the webbing on here is your fairly kind of standard 25 millimeter one inch webbing. Now being able to attach this to your rifle, as I mentioned, so this is the front end. Some of you at this point will be thinking, you know, we all know how to attach it to the rifle. So if, you know, fast forward through this bit. Uh, so my rifle here, I've just got one of these on here. If you have one of the flat swivels, then you'll just pass it through there. The way in which this works here at the back as well on this M4, I can pass it through here bring it back through and then I can, oh, I've done that the wrong way, I can pass it through there. Now I will say I'm very happy that they've added these second, second buckles on here. That just means that when it's on it's nice and tight but there is no slippage, especially with the additional webbing it helps to make sure that that's all secure. So there you have it, it's on, it's very simple, very easy to do. With the nature of these style slings, you can pretty much attach them to any rifle. The one thing that you just need to triple check is what fixed points you have on here. With the option that I went for, it means that On the pick rail here, I can attach one of these, very simple to do, but then if I want to run this a little bit shorter, then I can run this here as well. Again, you know, throw this over my head. Does mean that it is that extra little bit longer, uh, but it's, it's all there, it's nice and simple. So if you're new to these style slings, let me just put this back at the front again. 
I mean, because I just find it's a little bit easier to be able to get that. So where we were talking before about the front and the back, the the uh, range green bit, it's the part that goes past my past my neck here, over my shoulder, it just glides across the material, across the back, across the other equipment that I'm using, the other section that comes down here, the front end, so the grab handle that you have, if you want to loosen this, you just pull it back, and what that does is, is it pulls the buckle away from the strap, meaning that you can open that out, and then you're, you know, you're ready to go. When you're done, and you want to pull it so it's close into you, it's just not flopping around, you pull down on it, it slides it down, and it holds you holds it closer to you that's in 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 practice how these uh, these these fast style slings work um, I think if you're new to these you may have seen these before and wondered how they do work um, but yeah that that's mainly it so that you can pull that out and then you're gone or you're in and then when you're done you can pull it close again and yeah you know you're done for the day so there you go, I will leave some links to uh, Deadly Customs below. As I say, they're a UK company. I really like to promote UK companies just to show exactly what amazing things that we're doing here. And with this being 100% UK, it certainly gets them all under stamp of approval. I love to see these, uh, these, these companies really shining um, and yeah. It's, it's certainly an honor to be able to promote these sort of companies here in the UK as well So yeah, of course, I will leave all of their links below. I'll leave some of my social media links below as well But for now stay safe stay Moorlander and stay tactical Now today something that is is, is an essential mainly for chickens Chicken! Look at is the high-speed two-point sling from Deadly Customs. I forgot who it was from then. Fuck shitting dickwads. I'm gonna have to do that again. Or oh, undeniable, especially if you fucking tits. Generally, water is wet. Usually, the sky is blue. And three, no, three. Oh, I should have my hat on. It's very, it's very sunny today. Very sunny. But also quite cold. It's actually a really nice sling. Probably gonna put that, that needs to come out. It's miles away then, that's better. I think the mixing colors really goes well with this as well. There we go. All right, have fun, stay safe.